today's video is a day in the life Peloton fitness routine edition. An ideal morning workout routine for myself would start with a non-negotiable coffee followed by a brisk 30 minute workout on the Peloton with none other than Cody Rigsby. It would be potentially followed with a 15 minute strength routine focusing on the arms, shoulders, and legs and convenient adjustable weights. Okay, that's fine to set goals, but that is not what my typical morning looks like. So realistically, I'm gonna try to fit in a quick 10 minute workout. I do have my son over here. This is going to be a perfect ride for AirPods are vital. So I just finished a 10 minute low impact ride with Cody Rigsby. The main difference between this ride and other ones that I've done is actually this ride had no portions that are out of the saddle, hence the name low impact. I still broke a pretty decent sweat. I don't want to get too sweaty because I am about to go out for the day. But I do think I'm going to try to get in a few squats with the DB method machine. I feel like generally I have a tendency to try to do the squats too fast in order to be the most efficient. But actually, I'm going to try to slow it down and just try to feel the movement. So that's the end of the quick morning workout. That was maybe like 15 minutes in total. Generally, my kids are up by 6 a.m. every day, and that is followed by a quick breakfast, perhaps a morning walk, then an outing. The main window I have to work out is when they nap around 11, and if I'm not too burned out, I'll hop on the bike for a quick invigorating ride. To maximize your productivity in a day, I suggest reminding yourself to value your sleep. So often I wish for a quick fix for an energy burst, such as caffeine, a healthy meal, or a good workout, but honestly nothing compares to good sleep. For someone who thrives on being as efficient as possible, not surprisingly, I want to maximize everything I can do before I absolutely crash and pass out. On the topic of a good night's sleep, recently I've been loving this adjustable hypoallergenic pillow from the brand Coop Home Goods. This pillow has a medium firm blend of memory foam and microfiber, providing the right balance of comfort and support. When sleeping, if your neck is too high or too low, it can cause strain on it. Luckily, this pillow is adjustable in terms of the amount of fill that you can put in it. So this is what the fill looks like. Once again, it's made of a medium firm memory foam and microfiber. As you can see, it's quite soft to the touch, quite easy to remove as well. The foam is certified by the CertiPure US as well as GreenGuard Gold to ensure low chemical emissions. So the completely removable and washable outer case is made of the Lultra fabric, which is derived from bamboo. On the inside, we have this unzippable, stretchy liner made of a lightweight fabric. This pillow also comes with a 100 night sleep trial, meaning that you can return it for a full refund anytime during those 100 days. I've actually been aware of this brand for years. My daughter's first toddler pillow was actually this brand. I do love that this pillow is fully adjustable and they include an extra half pound of fill as well. If you're interested in trying this pillow out for yourself, I do have a coupon code for you. It's Christina Marie 10 for 10% off your order. Lastly, we've made it through the day and it's important to find what relaxes you the most. I love trying new skincare products as it feels like the ultimate pampering experience and it gets me thinking of the pros and cons of each item, which is mentally fun to do. My kids are in bed by 7 p.m. each night, which is when I start my nighttime routine. I'm starting out with a few products from the brand Sand and Sky. First, I'm using their exfoliating polish. This is a powder to foam cleanser. You first start with half a teaspoon in the palm of your hand, add a few drops of water, and it will foam up. I do want to admit that my skin felt smoother and softer after using this product. This exfoliator is quite gentle, but still I wouldn't recommend using it more than a few times a week. Next, I'm going in with an Australian Pink Clay Pore Refining Face Mask. There's an included brush which you can use to apply the mask onto your face. I'd recommend doing a thin layer as a little goes a long way, and if you put too much on your face, it may feel a little bit too drying. 
and to be honest, even with the thin layer that I applied, it dried down pretty fast well within 5 minutes. You'll know when it's ready to wash off when it turns a bit white and your face feels taut. This mask claims to tighten your pores, so we shall see about that. To wrap things up, I'm going to apply the Australian Emu Apple Dewy Glow Drops. These glow drops contain 5 forms of hyaluronic acid to moisturize your face. This is basically a serum that you need to shake to mix the water and the oil component. I love that this serum isn't too greasy, which is great for daytime, and this is the after result of all the skincare that we've done. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below what does your typical workout routine look like?